if you are mm. developing an innovative project, the cold and the warm process might be a helpful model for you. All of you know the cold process part. So that's what you know if you do project management. There you usually start with goals, then you define instruments, uh, indicators, and then you think about resources, competences you need. And from there, you try to find the people that match with the competences needed. But there's another process. And this process starts from people. So if you de develop an innovative project, usually it starts with a person who has a good idea. A person who tries to find other people who support this idea, who connects with people. They create a network and this gives them energy to finally develop goals and develop a project. If you work with innovative projects, it's important to have this in mind. It's not only about project management, but especially in the beginning, it's about connecting with people, creating the relationship with people so that you have conditions to work together with trust and openness. And a lot of people do it intuitively, so it's not rocket science. But it's still important to have it in mind. Because if you develop an innovative project, it's also about learning from mistakes. And if you want to learn from mistakes, it's important to have this openness, this vital space, this space of trust, where you also can talk about mistakes.